Is your layers panel missing? Or your total Photoshop workspace is in a mess and you wish you could fix this and, and you tried it again and again to fix each panel one by one and it did not happen and you tried restarting Photoshop again and again and again and it did not happen and you wish your Photoshop workspace could be set to the same as it was when you first installed Photoshop, when you first started Photoshop. We can do that. Well, this is the video for you. In this video, in the first part of the video, we are going to learn how to fix problems, how to bring back the panels that you want, how to bring back the options that you might be looking for. In the second part of the video, we'll be looking at how to reset your workspace the way it was when you first downloaded or and installed Photoshop. And also we'll be going through a lot of presets. There are different presets for photographers, different for designers, right? There are all sorts of presets bunch of them will be looking into that and the third part of the video is really what I'm excited about and what you should be excited about and that is how to customize the workspace according to your needs how to customize the interface so that you work faster and you save time and time is money before we begin make sure you hit that red button because we bring you the latest tips tricks tutorials and updates from the creative community on a very regular basis Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays so let's hit it So here we are in Photoshop and I was working on a very cool image that I came across while I was looking through some stock photos and I wanted to edit it. I did a little bit of compositing and uh, let me show you what I did. I put the background there on both of the sides and actually I have another background that I wanted to put later. I'll work on it later but the whole point of this video is if, if you mess something up, if any panel is missing what to do. So let's quit the layers. Let's bring out the layer and just close it. Right? Bring out the channels and just close it. Right? Bring out the toolbar and just close it. <laughs> what to do? You're in big trouble. But we can solve this. All you have to do, watch this. Go to Windows and all of the panels that are missing, you can bring it one by one. For example, layers is missing. Here comes the layer. You can always tuck it in here or any way you want. You can, you can also tuck it in here. It's totally your lookout. Suppose you're working on an image with a lot of layers. So you might want to tuck it here because it shows more layers than ever. So I, I preferably tuck it here because there are a lot of plugins that I work with it uh, on this side of the uh, workspace. Also, if this is missing, I would go to Windows and then Tools. And here they come and you can tuck it. Uh, of course, I just wanted to tell you if you want to move any toolbar or any panel, you should be looking for this. This is, I don't know if you can see this, but if you're watching this video in 1080p or 720p, you can watch this. There are a couple of lines, grid, something like grids right here. And if you uh, drag the toolbar or the panel with this grid, it just moves. It doesn't move with this. It doesn't move with this. This selects the tools. If you want to move it, this grid thing is your lookout. So let's tuck it here and we are good to go. Now what if you mess up your whole workspace? How do you fix it? To fix it, we need to mess up. So let's do destroy it in seconds. Okay, so uh, let's pull it here, pull it here. Hmm, what do you want? Whatever you want, just do everything. Go crazy with it. Let's destruct Photoshop today. Let's close everything today. Ah. And what do you do now? <laughs> everything is gone. Well, go to window, go to workspace, and make sure Essentials is selected if that's the workspace you're working on. And then select this option, Reset Essentials. <laughs> and you're good, everything is reset. If you want to tug it here, you can tug it right here. Done. And there are a lot of presets for different purposes. If we look at Windows and go to Workspace, there's 3D. This preset is specifically made for working with 3D in Photoshop. If you guys want more 3D tutorials, you can hit me up in the comments and I'll make it. And graphic and web, if you're a designer, this is your lookout, motion, painting, photography, if you enter digital painting, then this might work for you. If you click painting, as you can see, brushes have loaded up, colors have loaded up, and the workspace has optimized itself to give you the best painting experience ever in Photoshop. So I usually go with the essentials and, and that's my favorite place to be in. Now to the third part of the video, there are certain tools, panels, options that you never use. 
Why to have them in your life? There are certain people who always hate you. There are certain people who are always obstacle. Don't have them in your life. Your life will be so much more easier. Just block them in WhatsApp. And that's what we're going to do in Photoshop. All right. So I never use this colors panel. I never use the swatches. Well, it might be, what have I selected? Just deselect that. Yeah. I never use this colors. I never use the swatches. I also never use uh, adjustments. If I have to include an adjustment, add an adjustment layer, what I usually do, I add it from here. Why would I have an adjustment tab right here? I also never use libraries. I'm not signed into my creative cloud account. So I would simply bring it up, close it, bring it up, close it. Libraries, I don't use, close it. Adjustments, don't use, close it. So that's, and I want the, my layers to be dragged a little bit to the left. And I want a navigator. Where's the navigator? I want a navigator tool right above the layers panel so that I could walk through my image. Suppose I'm zoomed in, the navigator shows me which area of the image I'm focusing on currently. Also, the navigator is useful in replacing the navigator with my face like this. So. For you, some tools might work for you. Some tools might be useful. Others might prove to be useless. So only keep the tools that are useful to you in Photoshop and you might want to save it. So suppose this is the uh, layout that I want to have every time I open Photoshop. This is the layout that I want to have every time I mess up. So what do I do? I go to Windows, Workspace and you click New Workspace and you name it whatever your name and Mesh's layout. All right, okay. And you're good to go. Every time you mess up, you just have to go Windows, Extensions, sorry, Workspace, and Reset in Mesh's layout. Or whatever name you might have saved it as, click it, and it's all reset. So that's all for today. Hope this video helped. And if it did, give us a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Not a lot of people make till the end of the video and you have made it. And I thank you very much for watching the complete video. And you deserve to be rewarded. So here's my email. I'll just leave it on the screen so you can send me a hi and I'll send you some gifts. It can be presets. It can be some free amazing images that you might pay for otherwise. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for staying till the end again and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, keep creating. Before we begin, make sure to before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button because we bring you the latest tips, tricks, tutorials and updates from the creative community on a regular basis. So <laughs> do...